In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your own custom designs for the packages here. So if we go to the package configuration here, we click on the open. You'll notice there's one here called package data. And that's the one we deliver with the package. You're going to have that installed when you put your Timer Pro on here. And what's actually happening behind the scenes, if we go to the Windows Explorer here, you'll see we have in our documents area, Applied Computer Services Templates. These are where we hold all the templates we use in Timer Pro. And you can see here, here's the package CFG. Package Configuration XLSM, this is the Excel sheet design, and then a Package Cover Sheet CFG. So there's actually three files involved in each of these, and these are the three files that are delivered here. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a new package here, and you're going to see how these same three files will be created from the existing one. So what we can do is we come over here, we cancel out of the Open Package, and we're going to go to the Add option here, and it will ask you for a prefix. This is any prefix you wish to assign uh, between uh, one and five characters. So we're applied computer services. I'm going to make this my ACS, right? And I'm going to call this my ACS package here. Now, right now, I've only got the one uh, XLSM file here uh, for the package configuration. I would be able to browse and pick other ones if you had different ones out there. But right now, I'm just going to use my default one, which is the one we have right here. And I click on the OK give it a couple of seconds and notice what has happened here it's assigned the prefix to it so it's now ACS package config.xlsm right so it's already starting to build up the information that we're looking for here and you can see what we've got down here we basically have the design for the template there's the one that pops up here so you can design anything you want any number of rows at the top design any format that you wish to put it up here doesn't matter what, what it is here. And then you do the same for the cover sheets. So there's only two areas. There's a template. And remember, each of your groupings in your package is going to be uh, placed into a job element sheet. So, so there'll be multiple clones of this one developed. And there'll only be one cover sheet. And this is where the data is rolled up here. Now, it is kind of important. You have to preserve the name cover sheet and template. These don't change these ones down here, but in here you can design whatever you want here. So let's say that you designed the top area here from scratch. Now, and then you start to lay out how you want your columns and your worksheet to, to design. That's in row 10 here. So you can see the defaults we've given you here. So this one's actually going to be the line number here. So if I wanted to, I could put a, a name in here, just say line, right? That could be the reference line there. Here's the major step, the key point. The video, the operation, these are all the defaults that we put in based on what we think you need. Uh, but you can use any of them, you don't have to use them all, right? So for instance, you might decide that you don't need to have, this is the element uh, breakout here. This is the wait time, the manual, the auto and the walk. You might decide you don't want that, so just exclude these from your design. Uh, you may design. You may decide that you don't. You've only got one operator, so you wouldn't need the number of operator column. You don't need that, and you can put them in any order as well here. So you can lay this out any way that you'd like here. So what you're going to do, if I if I take this guy out of here, if I remove the contents of this, I'm just uh, deleting that. So that's now gone. So let's say you actually designed a worksheet that looked looked like this: the line, the major step, the key point, the video, the operator, and so forth. And remember what we're doing here. If we come back over here. You want to make design anything you want with any number of rows in the header, and then the work instruction content appears here. So that's exactly what we have showing right here. You can see it. I come over here. So we've got the anything we want in the header, and now we can just get the header for the various columns we want to go into the worksheet here. And now you have to associate what goes into each column. And the way you do that is you point at an empty cell immediately below the header row. And this is a header row, I call it. Just like in Excel, this is, consider this is a header row. Under here is where all the content is going to go. So now what we do is we point, let's say, at this one, we've got the line number here. I point at that cell and I double click. And it brings up all of the information we have available for you to select from. Right? So you can see it here. So we're looking, this is the line number. So all you do is you click on the data line number and you say use. And it's going to insert that in here. The major step is where we're going to put the description. So we put the description and we say use. It puts it in here. Now you're laying out where the fields go. Now the key point, I don't have anything here. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. I'm going to come over. The key point you're going to fill in manually. You could have part numbers, you know, this type of thing. Anything you like here. Safety notes, this type of thing. A lot of people put all, all sorts of information in here. Now I'm back into the video. Now we do, if you have a video here, You'll come in here and you'll see you have a video option right here. You have the video link. We say use that. And that puts it in there. This is the number of operators. So you can click data operators. 
So just and then the type. That's where it's value added, non value added, that type of thing. Type is a value added. Click on the use, then we get the VA time, any value added time, non value added time. I'm just looking at the columns here, the required non value added time, the weight, the manual, the auto, and the walk. Right? So you can see what I've done here. I've basically assigned each of the fields that I want to be automatically populated here uh, when the data popped up here. Now up in the uh, header area we've also got one element here that we can pick off up here. Notice it right here. I'll just exit out of this for a second here. Here's the header group element. Remember what happens is a title is placed in the cover sheet and then the, the title is also placed in here so we just double click on that and we're going to select the header group element just like you see right here. And then you can click on the save and that'll just save it into the area in the background here. All right, give you a few seconds, it puts it away. You do exactly the same for the cover sheet. So come to your cover sheet, lay out the data that you, as you want to present it in your cover sheet, right? and then you do the, exactly the same thing. You'll double click on this, and you start making your selections here. It will automatically pull the data over and drop it in the right fields. The only difference here from the template sheet is we have a cover task up here. And that's where it would be, like in our example, it would be the mold parts. Whatever the name of the task is, is placed here. And obviously you make this selection right here uh, to, to, to match up with that. So, so what I do is I click the exit here. I locate my uh, mouse onto the cover task area here. I double click and I would select the cover task selection right here to use it right there. And then I click on the save. Give it a few seconds. And it will save it away for me. Now let's look at what's happened back in the actual templates folder here. So if I go back over here and I sort it perhaps now by date and date modified here, you see the three files, the ACS-package config, the ACS-package cover, ACS-package-config.xlsm. These are the three fields that work together to give you the, uh, the what you require to format and use the packaging option here. And when we finish them, we just close it. We can save it again. It's already been saved, but you can save it again. And if you come back over, so what we did was we designed the header and the template with the formats we're looking for. Back over here, and now if I do an open here, you'll see I've now got the ACS package and the other one. So this is a separate one here. Right? And I can use that now. So I can start using the ACS package as my basis for all of my packages coming out of here. You finish, click on cancel. And now you're ready to go and run your process there. So all you have to do is you can come out of here, close out of this. And if you get down here to, let's say I wanted to create a new package for you come over here, I go to my mold parts. I say packages, I say package station. I've got my two choices now. Do I want the package data or do I want my ACS package? You would select your ACS package and then decide where you want it to go. So let's say I'm going to come down here, Timer Pro. I'm going to put it in my packages, which is right here. And I've got already got one in here. I'm just going to add another one, make a new one, and ACS Custom. The only change we made was we added that uh, line number right in there. Press Enter at the end and then click on the OK and it's going to go away and it's going to add it now. So the change that we really made here was we added the label for the line number on the, um, right on here. Oops, bring it back up by double clicking. Here it's here. So you can see here we've got the different steps and for each one of these you can see the change that I made. I added the line number there. It's in all of the sheets right here. So this is indeed the new one that we just put together right there.